Volaringa. Volaringa. <laughs> okay. I was in on Thursday, Friday, and the game was Saturday. And I had a little haggle with Tom Lund many years ago in that game. Right? I was in Norway yeah. for the, over the weekend where they're wow. playing the local derby, like Jan Eric says. Okay? Yeah. Fine. Friday. Boah, great. Shake his <laughs> hands. Hello, Tom Lund. Lovely to see you, mate. <laughs> Fine. Boom. Hey. Yeah. Friday. Yeah. His statue is being capitulated. Yeah, sh- his head's been gone. <laughs> <laughs> and Neely's in there. <laughs> The pig's in town. I laughed my bollocks off. It was brilliant. Can you imagine how I felt, couldn't you? I know. And then the game the next day, bothering her and running to her. Oh, yes! What a coincidence that I can honestly say it wasn't me. But let's go back to yeah. September the 9th. You know, I sure, I, I've given you real facts about what we were like when we were winners oh. and had the confidence to actually do some <laughs> silly things. And, but he was fantastic from day, from the time he kicked <laughs> off, from the time the game ended. Yeah. He wanted Norway to have an advantage and boy, he gave you one. Yeah. He was brilliant, wasn't he? He taught the English, yeah. to be fair, he said about Winston Churchill, yeah, okay. Maggie Thatcher, you've taken a hell of a beat. Yeah, fine. But Lord Beaverbrook, who the fuck is he? He gave me, I had to look Beaverbrook up. Kevin Dapley, who's he? My mum might have known. But he was, wasn't he brilliant, eh? Hey. From the start to the finish. Kick yeah. the grease! Kick it! Kick yeah. it now! Yeah. How dare he? Huh? <laughs> I don't look like a pig. To, well, man, don't answer that. <laughs> but it was lovely the way he went about it. Sadly, I, I, I had to say, you had one more game when you beat us. Yes. And you had to slip up, and we had to go to Hungary, <laughs> where we'd never won for 30 years. <laughs> Unfortunately, Phil Neal, who's standing talking to you tonight, <laughs> made the goal for Trevor Brookin that brought us the victory in Budapest. <laughs> and you lot slipped up, <laughs> and we went to the World Cup without you! <laughs> <laughs> But what a, what a significant place in my life. Like I mean, September the 9th, so then there was a hassle come December of that year, at my own club. I've just explained to you, Joe Fagan, you know, we build it, so it's like kind of crossroads. Am I going to, you know what I mean? It really is. But uh, fantastic talking to you all. Any more questions? Tommy, I have one. Yes, go on. Uh, He's, he, he's starting with... Pantek, yeah, starts and Ive on the bench. Ive on the bench? For me, on top. Okay, it, it all depends, you know what I mean? I, I mean, what, what I'd like us to do as a whole team is stop fanning about and cry. If we've got Benteke in the, in the middle, then we've got a Toshak. And you saw, you saw his header the other week. You know, if, Let's both, from both sides, let's cross into it, if he's playing. Let other things, Coutinho, pick other little bits up. But let's start continually knocking the ball in. You know, I don't like this back to Mignolet. I'm sorry, it's really kind of... And I, I, I love football, but you think, come on, have a, get us off our seats. Now I know how I love to do it, just by crossing it in the box and Dalglish yeah. or Keegan or t- it didn't matter. High, big, get it in. And I think it's a need 
to be solid at the back, give nothing away. We've got to be a mean, mean team as well. We've got to introduce that somewhere down the line. Uh, and youngsters fail, like Alan Hansen says, youngsters fail. And we failed at Crystal Palace because they're powerful beasts, aren't they? They're some powerful Vikings, your Vikings. And you know the power of you and riding those seas, your, hey, from years and years ago, how powerful you were as a unit. And that's what we've got to get back into the book. But I hope uh, he shows me kind of, he's got passion, he's got feeling. He doesn't mind dropping a young kid. And what he said, basically to all of them, you're all in the pot, it's up to you to get me to choose you. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, well done to him. Uh, I think he'll be a good manager in the end. I, I just hope he can, you know, kind of put us into a reasonable position. I don't expect wonders this year. No. No. But, yes, sir. What about uh, turbulence with Ben Truth lately, with Rogers and... Uh, yeah, it's... It, it, new manager. It's... I said to Jan Eric when he can't... I, I said... I almost estimated, you know, his, his time's up, you know what I mean? He, he didn't like um, names around him. I, I would have had Steven Gerrard or Carragher or both of them alongside of me. You know what I mean? I wouldn't have worried about a name bigger than me, but Brendan seems to have this situation. So I think that's where he failed. I think also he failed in buying so many people. Right, yes, I know Moses was on our, our subs bench the year before, but to buy kind of nine people or whatever, you know what I mean, it's like buying another team. And he didn't know his best team till almost March time. Who played best? Sacco? You know, it, it, it's, it's making your mind up. And Bob Paisley, in our day, <coughs> knew his best team because there was only three people possibly four at the outset that came in every year. You understand what I'm saying? And he knew what the best combination was, kind of in all the positions. I don't think Brendan found out that till late in the season, too late <coughs> in the season. So it had to come. It had to come in the end, it had to come. Sadly, yeah, I, I liked him, he, he, he was that close, wasn't he? But oh, yeah. Paisley, like I said, he, in his first season, that much, second, right? I thought Brendan might do the same thing after we finished, you know, when Stephen slipped that time. You know, that was a miraculous season when we had Suarez. We had a performer there that would really kind of light anything up. You know, he was a devil to anybody, you know, worldwide. And um, I just think, that was the be all and end all. It, had we not have pinched it then, and when he went, obviously then we lost his powers. Uh, yes, we gained some money, but money doesn't buy you a de decent player. We had to wait. Ian Rush, fantastic record he's got. He came from lower league, so did I. There are other kids down there, and other kids, I'm sure, in the Norwegian leagues that you can rely on. I still feel that in modern day. But they don't seem to want to take it. They want to pay over the odds. Right? For three Southampton players. <laughs> no, I'm just saying to you, I mean, what, what we were told in our day is good player knows when to play one touch. You have a look at our players today. Enran Khan, Lalana, yeah. they'll have touches galore. Coutinho? No, they will. But what, what I'm saying is that because we limited ourselves to going forward and trying to yeah. score a goal and get 3 0 up, so then we can sit back and play tippy tappy football. <laughs> we? Yeah. yeah, we can then. I don't mind that. <laughs> right, when you're 3 0 up, mate. <laughs> but we weren't good enough. We were told, even with 1 0 advantage, you're still not good enough to hold on for 89 minutes. Yeah. So go for the second one yeah. and then really yeah. string them up with three.
Then you can start messing around. Tippy tappy back to Mignolet. <laughs> <laughs> That's our policy. Is it better than Brendan's? Yes. No. <laughs> Is he from Northern Ireland? <laughs> hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, if, hang on, he fucking soon will be. <laughs> and I'm swearing, sorry girls. Brilliant. Uh, he let himself in for that, didn't he? Uh, brilliant. But no. It's been a pleasure uh, and an honour to Put on, stand in and uh, give you some true stories. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, like I said, I bring. Do you want to see how how near he was as a real youngster? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>